Greetings, and welcome to the Filter Specification Analysis Video Tutorial Series, Part 1 of 3, The Synthesis Matrix. This video will show you how to synthesize the matrix using a cloud-based software tool called Symmatrix. All links and reference information used in this tutorial will be summarized in the video description below. The following video will demonstrate the synthesis process using an actual customer specification requirement. To begin with the synthesis process, let's take a look at the specification requirements. The operational frequency needs to be between 3.3 and 3.4 GHz. The requested insertion loss is 1.5 dB, and return loss is lower than negative 16 dB. The outband rejection has four requirements, 100 watts of peak power, operating temperature range between negative 30 to 80 degrees C, and the interface is using an SMA connector. After logging into Symmatrix, the first step will begin by setting the basic design parameters, frequency, bandwidth, and return loss. Since the filter order is an experience-based parameter, we will have a separate video tutorial to illustrate how you can set this number reasonably. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will set this number to 9. Symmetrix provides two different formats for the frequency specification input, center frequency bandwidth and start-stop frequency. You can click the convert icon located at the top right of the parameter input panel window to toggle and switch the frequency specification input format as shown here. Now we will adjust the start and stop frequency as per the customer design spec. The return loss parameter is set to 20 in order to achieve a sufficient amount of margin. We will leave the Q parameter blank in this step until part 3 of this video tutorial series. Now let's proceed to work with the outband rejection requirements. Starting from the first 3.19 GHz and the second 3.28 GHz. We need to add two more transmission zero inputs by clicking the add icon located in the top right section of the transmission zero panel window located here. The transmission zero input will be 3.42 GHz followed by the last 3.46 GHz. It's important to note that the transmission zero has two formats a real frequency, and a normalized complex number. You can click the Convert icon to convert the frequency to the normalized frequency. The complex format of the transmission zeros is for equalization to smooth the group delay. After setting up the transmission zeros, you can click Calculate all to obtain the synthesized matrix and corresponding S parameter. Without setting the specific topology, the matrix will return the folded topology as the default. You can check the filter performance in different aspects by clicking each tab in the S parameter graph, such as group delay and stored energy in the power analysis tab. Symmetrix provides two separate coupling matrix formats, the normalized matrix and the coupling matrix bandwidth. You are able to export the coupling matrix as well as the corresponded S2P file at the bottom right by clicking export, the button located here. In the next video, we will show how to set up the topology and how to fine tune the matrix to help meet the customer requirement specifications.